Legitimate yeah. businessman? What? Oh my God, you know what that sounds like? He's a crook, John. He owns a taxi cab company. He's organized that. Oh my God, he's a cab driver. He knows everything about boxing, right? Yes, I don't think so. I think he's going to steal your son's money and rob him blind. Incredible performance. Melissa Leo earned an Oscar for playing Alice Ward in the critically acclaimed movie The Fighter. She's played more than 100 characters over more than three decades. Leo started her career on the soap opera All My Children, then became a regular on the series Homicide, Life on the Street. She has since appeared in a number of TV shows and movies. Melissa Leo now stars in the new Showtime series I'm Dying Up Here, based on the L.A. comedy scene in the 1970s. Jim Carrey, who got his start back then, is the executive producer. Leo plays Goldie, the owner of a famed comedy club that makes or breaks young stand-up comics. You want to go on the Tonight Show? Yes. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. Find a voice that women can relate to. I have a voice women can relate to. It sheds light on our mutual experiences, huh? Then I'll put you on the main stage, front and center. My right hand to Carson. Is Kaufman like Carly? Oh. Is Klein like Pryor? You're missing my point. Yeah, they're all up there on your stage. Why is it any different for women? There is room for me, too. I just need your stage to prove it. When you're ready. <laughs> and yes. Melissa Leo is with us now. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Our, our pleasure. You look at, at something like this and you hear comedy. You think it's just going to be funny. There's drama to it, too. What can viewers expect from this? Well, it is. It's a drama about stand-up comics is the way I like to see it. And we have both comics in the show playing comics, not necessarily the kind of comedy they do in their own act, right. but, uh, which is always a little difficult. And we have actors playing comics, um, a whole bunch. And, and our, both our writer and our uh, producer, Michael Aguilar and David Flabot, when they were younger, had dreams of some stand-up <laughs> comedy. Yeah. You know, so everybody's touching something that they... I hadn't had anything to do with any of it until I... Uh, join them out in California to shoot the pilot. You play a very powerful figure here. You're Goldie, and you run this club that they're, and they're, and you basically anoint these comedians who all want to get on the Carson show, on the Tonight Show. Well, you say anoint as if Goldie thinks she's some kind of a god, which she does not. People think that of her, but she does not see that hers. She knows funny from she not funny. Her. And that's all yeah. she's interested in. Do do? She doesn't care if you're a boy or a girl, black or white, Chinese. She doesn't care. She cares if you're funny. And she doesn't want you in her club on her stage if you're not going to be funny. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, you are a method actress. Take us through the process of how you became Goldie. How long do we have? <laughs> method acting is a long, disputed, misused term. Um, if you're acting, I hope to God you've got a method. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much true for everything, right? Um, <laughs> absolutely. So why not so for acting, right? So uh, method acting, Goldie, uh, I had to use, um, sometimes as an actor you use little or no technique. You can kind of step right into the role, yeah. look at your scene partner opposite you, and there you are doing the scene. Not so for me and Goldie. Goldie has uh, talents uh, that I don't possess. She has a way that is not my way. She presents herself to the world in a way that is not the way I present myself to the world. So she was what I call a long reach for me <laughs> and a joy and a pleasure to play because of that. I'm more interested in the character than myself. That's part of my method. And I think people that, <laughs> that know that time remember Mitzi Shore and her role that she played in the comedy scene there. This isn't Mitzi Shore, you say, though. Not Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi, if you're watching. <laughs> I've never met her. I hope to one day. Yeah, no, exactly right. There's one woman who did what Mitzi Shore did in the time in which she did it. And that was to take a club that had some funny guys in it, but it also had some um, uh, improv, some folk music, some poetry reading, like a lot of clubs yeah. across yeah. the country. Vaudeville had died. And where was that stand-up comic going next? And Mitzi Shore, in my opinion, and you can read it in the book I'm Dying Up Here, invented a place for stand-up comics. Painted the walls black, put a spotlight on the stage, and said only comics. Right.
and that was unprecedented. Another and that's the only way in which I'm playing Mitzi Shore at all. Right. I'm playing Goldie Hirschlag. Another stand-up comic, Jim Carrey, is executive producer yeah. of this show, as we mentioned. How involved was he? On he was involved because we would not have a show without Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Plain and simple, and yeah. he also gave us My Michael Aguilar, his producer. Yeah. And in that way, through Michael, involved himself, as you see in the photograph, joined us at some dinners, gave us that kind of Jim Carrey encouragement and stamp of approval to yeah. it. But Jim is uh, taking care of himself, and, and, and we're taking care of the show. I, I like to think of it like that. <laughs> you work with a large ensemble of actors, comedians. Uh, they are so funny on the show. I mean, I find myself laughing at the stand-up routines within the show. But do you mentor any of them off screen? No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I try to. I'm always talking about acting with whoever I'm working with, whether they want me to or and not. That's, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that's no, awesome. There's, there's a do. lot of learning. There's a lot of learning that's going on. You know, the actors are learning about stand up, and indeed, the stand ups are learning about acting, and, and we're all sharing together. It was one of the great joys about the show, and the excitement of sharing it now is. It's rare in, in the work that I do that you have such a good time, such a sense of that camaraderie that we often imagine is there. Yeah. And in the shooting of I'm Dying Up There, we, we really love each other. You so can see it. That you comes see it. it does. It comes across. Yeah. Melissa, thank, thank you for being here on Memorial Day. Melissa Leo, yeah. I'm Dying Up Here premieres Sunday night on Showtime, a division of CBS. My love to all the vets and their families. The first episode is streaming online for free right now.